Hello YouTubes, welcome back to Tully's Marine Tales. My name is Chantelle and I am fortunate enough to be able to call myself a marine biologist. And I thought for today's video, we just have like a little bit more of an informal chat about the marine biology career. A couple of weeks ago, a high school student from the US emailed me some questions regarding the marine biology career. She had a project that she needed to do and I figured it would just be fun to make a video answering the questions so that if there's anybody else out there interested in the marine biology career, hopefully this will be informative and interesting for you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And yeah, we'll just get into answering some questions. I do have them next to me, so I apologize if I'm glancing off to the side of the time. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first question, uh, job title. So currently my job title is postdoctoral researcher um, in marine biology, but there are very many job titles that you can have as a marine biologist. Most of the time your job title is not going to be marine biologist. It might be scientist or researcher, assistant professor, lecturer, whatever. Um, but for me currently, my official job title is postdoctoral researcher. Job description, um, pretty self-explanatory. I'm a researcher. I conduct research. So my current research involves investigating um, the movements of stingrays um, and it generally involves collecting data, analyzing the data and then writing up research papers. That's like the long and short of what I need to do in my current job. Next question, education needed. Again, for me, straightforward postdoctoral researcher means after becoming a doctor, after your PhD. So I have to have a PhD minimum in order to become a postdoctoral researcher. But there are very many jobs in marine biology where you don't actually need a PhD. Sometimes if you're working more for an NGO, for the government, you'll generally need your, only your master's. You might not have to go all the way up to your PhD. But at the end of the day, you will likely need to study at university up to at least a master's level. Um, any other training or certifications required? Officially, no. But this, again, can be quite variable on the jobs. Sometimes... You may need a scientific diver certification. Maybe you'll need to be able to drive a boat. Sometimes having an extra course in data analysis can go a long way. So officially, there's no extra training required, but there are a few things that you can add to your CV to make you more likely to be employed as a marine biologist. Next question, working conditions. So this is very variable. Um, now, being a marine biologist doesn't mean I'm going out and diving with dolphins every day. That's a very big misconception. Majority of my days are spent in front of the computer. I have working hours from eight to five. I'm sitting at my desk, having meetings, the normal thing. And then luckily on occasion, we do get to do field work. And we do get to go out into the field um, and do the more traditional marine biology, outdoorsy stuff. So working conditions can be quite variable. Most of the time it's behind the computer. Sometimes you're working more in a lab setting if you need to sort through your samples. Um, and then again, you'll be out in the field doing some outdoor stuff if you're lucky. Um, the favorite thing about your job. So for me, I mean, I would expect some people to say that I love doing the outdoor stuff the most. And that's what a lot of marine biologists do love the most. But for me, it's more about the whole scientific process. I love being a researcher and researching anything. I love the whole process of having a question and then developing a method to answer that question and then going out and finding the answers to your question. Like I love the whole curiosity and the whole thinking process behind it. I just love the scientific research method. And for me, that's actually the favorite part about my job. But I do also like the outdoor stuff when I get to go out in the field. Uh, the least favorite thing about my job, another easy question. This is definitely the lack of job security in the field. A lot of people ask me, they say they're not sure about becoming a marine biologist because of money and that you're not going to get a job. And I'm here to tell you that all those things are definitely real. If you are lucky enough to get a job as a marine biologist, usually it's contract work. It's a couple of years. So you might have to be moving around a lot, switching jobs. And it's very difficult to get a job in the location where you might want it to be with, with good money. So job security and funding not the greatest, definitely the biggest con of the job. Um, why did you choose this field for your occupation? Very easy. 
I love the ocean, I love science, put them together, you have marine biology. Hey ho, I've always wanted to be a marine biologist ever since I can remember. The pace of the job, what is the pace of the job? Mm, again, this can vary. So overall, quite a high level of productivity is required. So you're generally working at a relatively fast pace. But if you're good at time management, um, it, it's generally at your own pace. So sometimes you'll have days where you're working much more. Sometimes you'll have days where you're working less. So quite often it's up to you, actually. Soft skills. So the skills you may not necessarily learn at university, but you need. I've actually done a whole separate video on this. So please check that out if you're interested, but just some quick highlights. Definitely, you need to be able to communicate successfully. As a scientist, you need to communicate your science to other scientists or to the public either in written or verbal forms so communication is very important then being able to both work in a team because a lot of the time you'll be in a research team and being able to work independently because you often will be in charge of a research project um, and you'll have a certain aspect of that that you need to deal with by yourself so being able to work independently is also quite important. A flexibility, as I said before, you might have to move for your job. Sometimes you have to travel a lot if you're going out into the field. Being flexible is very, very important in this industry. Okay, future outlook and job prospects. So as I've alluded to, getting a job in marine biology is pretty difficult. And I think it's only going to get more difficult going forward, especially in the current climate, global climate, with the whole COVID-19 thing, if the whole world is basically in a global recession and everybody's struggling. And usually when that happens, science budgets get cut first. So uh, less money for science, less money for scientists, which means probably less job prospects moving forward, which is an unfortunate truth, but I think it is a truth. Um, advancement opportunities in my career. So yes, as a, as a scientist, as a marine biologist, there's always advancement opportunities, especially if you're working in academia, there's kind of like the ladder that you follow. I mean, you start off as a PhD student, you get, go into your postdoc, which is the stage I'm in, and then you sort of become a junior or assistant professor or lecturer, you move up into a senior assistant or a senior uh, lecturer or professor, and then eventually you can become like a dean at the university so there's definitely like a ladder that you can follow and i think even in more non-traditional scientific roles like working for the government or something i think there's also like these ladders that you can advance in your career and finally related occupations um so i mean the most traditional thing that people think of as a marine biologist is academia working at a university but there are lots of other things you can do. Um, as I've alluded to, you can work for the government or for NGOs as more of like a scientist or conservation officer. You can work for an environmental consulting agency. You could even work for, you know, more in the tourist tourism industry where you're like leading dives and teaching people fun facts about marine biology um, through dives and that kind of stuff. So there's actually like a lot of variety in the field and it's not necessarily set in stone, which is also something that's quite exciting and may be important going forward with, with job prospects on the decline. Like finding these, these uh, different career opportunities, I think is gonna be quite important going on into the future. So yeah, this, those are all the questions. Um, and I think I'd just like to sum up and say that marine biology is such a great career if you love the ocean and if you love science. If you don't love either of those things, then don't do it because it is a difficult job to be in. It's a difficult career to be in. As I said, there's lack of security. You have to be quite flexible. But if it's something you love, then it's definitely worth it. If you have any further questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. I've actually become quite active on Instagram recently. So follow me there, DM me if you have any further questions. And yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. Until next time, I hope you stay healthy and happy.